Welcome to XDynamo. In this video, we will learn how to write MATLAB code. Develop CAM profile. Export the coordinates to Excel sheet, developing a solid model in SOLIDWORKS. So why late? Let's get into this. Design of CAM profile in MATLAB. Let us have a look at the sequence, through which we proceed in this project. First, we will go through introduction to CAMs. Then we will discuss types of follower motion. Then we will develop MATLAB code, to generate the CAM profile. The coordinates of the CAM profile are exported to an Excel sheet. These coordinates are used to create, three-dimensional CAM profile model in SOLIDWORKS. Introduction A CAM is a rotating or sliding member in a mechanical linkage, forming a higher pair, used especially in transforming rotary motion into linear motion. A CAM is a rotating machine element that gives, reciprocating or oscillating motion to another element known as follower. The CAM rotates usually at constant speed and drives the follower whose motion depends upon the shape of the CAM. Almost always the CAM is the driver and, the follower is the driven member. When the CAM turns through one motion cycle, the follower executes a series of events consisting of rises, dwells, and returns. Rise is the motion of the follower, away from the CAM center. Dwell is the motion during which, the follower is at rest. Return is the motion of the follower, towards the cam center. Cam profile Cam profile is the shape of the outer edge of the cam, against which the follower engages. The profile of the cam is designed in such a way that, the follower moves in desired motion at specified timing. This is a typical cam profile. The angle of cam during which the follower rises is known as, angle of ascent. The dwell angle represents the cam angle during which, the follower remains at maximum lift position. The angle of cam during which the follower descends is known as, angle of descent. The minimum radius of the cam profile is known as, base circle radius. Follower motion Have a look at the graph, showing the lift of followers with respect to cam angle. The displacement of the follower can be made, to have any desired motion. The following are the standard follower displacements. Simple harmonic motion, uniform velocity, cycloidal motion, and, parabolic motion. Jerk reaches to infinite for maximum number of times, in parabolic motion. Of all the above motions, cycloidal is best and parabolic motion is worst. Hence the parabolic motion is not considered in this project. Now discuss these follower motions in detail. Simple harmonic motion H ascent is the follower displacement during ascent. H descent is the follower displacement during descent. Pi ascent represents the angle of ascent. Pi descent represents the angle of descent. Here are the equations representing the displacement of follower during ascent and descent. Have a look at the MATLAB code, for the above equations of simple harmonic motion. Uniform velocity Here are the equations representing, follower displacement with uniform velocity motion. The MATLAB code for these equations is shown here. Cycloidal motion. Here are the equations representing follower displacement with cycloidal motion. Have a look at the MATLAB code for the above equations of cycloidal motion. It's time to develop MATLAB code. Open MATLAB, click on New Script. Name it as CAM Profile Code. Here is the project title, Design of CAM with its profile, generated in MATLAB.
Let's clear command window before starting the new program. Type CLC and clear all. First, we will provide the follower lift and base circle radius. The lift of follower, H is 10 mm. The base circle radius, R is 40 mm. Now, provide the information about cam angles. Angle of ascent is, 120 degrees. The dwell angle after ascent is 60 degrees. Angle of descent is 100 degrees. Dwell 2 is the dwell after descent. It is equal to 360 minus the sum of ascent. Dwell 1 and descent. Let us define additional angles for our convenience. After ascent equal to sum of ascent and dwell 1. After descent is equal to the sum of, after ascent and angle of descent. These two angles represent the start and end of the descent. These variables help in plotting the displacement during the descent of the follower. Create a variable theta to define the cam rotation angle. Theta equal to lens pace of 0, 360, 361, which returns a vector of 361 equispaced points between 0 to 360. Let us consider the simple harmonic motion of the follower. First, we will design the cam profile for SHI motion. Open CAM Profile Formula text file which contains the formulae for different follower displacements. Copy the formulas corresponding to SHM paste the formulae of H Ascent and H Descent in MATLAB code. The lift of follower during ascent and descent are added. Now plot the graph of cam angle versus follower displacement using plot function. The follower rises from zero to maximum height, during angle of ascent. First, we have to plot the graph between theta, less the angle of ascent and rise of follower, h ascent.
the follower descends during the value of theta lying between, after ascent and after descent. Plot h descent against the theta lying between the angles, after ascent and after descent. Run the code. The graph between cam angle and follower displacement is obtained. Now we have to create all the required variables to generate the cam profile. Define the lift during dwell of the follower. H dwell 1 is the position of follower during dwell after follower rise to maximum lift. As the follower remains at maximum height during dwell, H dwell 1 is equal to the product of row vector with all elements as 1, multiplied by maximum lift. H dwell 2, represents the position of follower after the descent. As the follower remains at 0 lift position, H dwell 2 is equal to 0 row vector, which is created by the function, zeros of 1 comma dwell 2. 1 represents the number of rows and, dwell 2 represents the number of columns. Now define cam radius at different phases of rotation. R1 represents the radius of cam profile corresponding to ascent. It is equal to the sum of base radius R and follower displacement H ascent. R2 represents the cam radius during dwell 1. R2 equal to base radius R plus, H dwell 1. Similarly, R3 equal to R plus, H descent and R4 equal to R plus, H dwell 2. Join all the radius vectors, R1, R2, R3, R4 into a single vector of R, as shown. To create a polar plot, the angle Theta should be in radians. Convert theta from degrees to radians using degree to radians function and assign the output to a new variable, theta radians. It's time to plot the cam profile. Type figure, to insert a new plot. Use polar plot to create a graph in cylindrical coordinates. Type polar plot with inputs as, theta radians and radius r. Set the, theta zero location to the top, using set gc a command. Now run the code, here is the cam profile we get for, simple harmonic motion. It is so cool to generate the cam profile without using pen and paper. We generated the cam profile using MATLAB. Now let us consider simple harmonic motion, uniform velocity and cycloidal motion.
We will update our code to generate cam profile for different follower motions. Create the variables ascent motion and descent motion. The values 1 represents simple harmonic motion, 2 represents uniform velocity, 3 represents cycloidal motion, 4. Let us create an if loop based on these variables. If ascent motion equal to 1, provide the equation of follower displacement, corresponding to SHM. Make sure to use 2 equal to, symbols while defining a condition statement. Copy and paste the equation of H ascent, corresponding to SHM. Now create two more conditional, else if statements. Else if, ascent motion equal to 2, it corresponds to uniform velocity. Copy the equation of H ascent, of uniform velocity. Paste it under the else if condition. Similarly use else if condition for cycloidal motion. If loop, contains conditional statements. In case the given condition is satisfied, the code below the if statement, will be executed and the loop ends. If the first condition is not satisfied, MATLAB moves to the next, else if condition, and this process continue until any of the given conditions are satisfied. Now create an if loop, for descent motion conditions. If descent motion equal to 1, it corresponds to SHM. Paste the displacement equation during descent, corresponding to SHM. Repeat the same procedure for the other two motions. After the if loop, type end. This represents that, if loop is completed. Now change descent motion to 3, which means cycloidal motion, the follower displacement graph and, cam profile are obtained for the given motion.
instead of giving values of 1, 2, 3, to variables ascent motion and descent motion, we are creating a motion selector window. Create a motion list with names of three types of follower motion. The names have to be provided in the same order we considered earlier. Create selector window for ascent motion. Use list DLG function with inputs as name and provide display text as select ascent motion and type list string and motion list. Repeat the same for the descent motion selector window. Run the code. Now the window selector appears. Select the ascent motion. And select the descent motion. The cam profile is obtained. Now provide list size in the code to clearly see the display text in the selector window. Run the code. Now, the display text is clearly shown as Select Ascent Motion, but there is Select All option at the bottom. We have to change it to Single Select. The corresponding CAM profile is generated. Modify the code to change the selection mode to Single. Run the code. This time the select all option is disappeared. Let us modify the plot settings of cam angle versus lift graph. Set X takes in multiples of 10 up to after descent angle.
set whitex in multiples of 5 up to maximum lift. Define the graph position and dimensions of plot using set GCF function. Provide the title as cam angle versus lift. Give X label as cam angle in degrees and Y label as lift of follower in millimeters. Now run the code. Observe the graph title, axis labels, units and graph size of, cam angle versus follower displacement graph. Let us make this code more user interactive. Let us generalize this code. Now use the input function to get the values of, lift of follower, base radius, angle of ascent, dwell angle and descent angle from the user input. We are done with input functions. Now we have to export the CAM profile, generated in MATLAB to design software, to obtain three-dimensional CAM model. To achieve this, we need Cartesian coordinates of CAM profile. Converting polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinate system using, pol to cart function. x, y equal to pol to cart of, theta radians and r. X and Y are row vectors. But we need column vectors to export the coordinates. Now transpose the X and Y vectors and, assign them to new variables, X coordinate and Y coordinate.
as z-coordinates are needed to import points in design software, create a new variable, z-coordinate a zero column vector of, 361 rows and one column using zeros function. Create a matrix named as CAM profile. Assign X, Y and Z coordinates to CAM profile matrix. Now export the CAM profile to Excel as XYZ coordinates, using write matrix function. Provide name of matrix as CAM profile and Name of Excel file is camprofile.xls. Save the MATLAB code. Now run the code. Enter the lift of follower as 50 mm and, base radius as 50 mm. Provide ascent angle as, 60 degrees, dwell angle as, 45 degrees and descent angle as, 90 degrees. Select ascent motion as simple harmonic motion. Select descent motion as cycloidal motion. The CAM profile is generated for a given follower motion. The Excel file is generated with CAM profile coordinates from MATLAB code. Right click on the Excel file and, select open outside MATLAB. X, Y and Z coordinates are shown in Excel sheet. Format the cells and change number of decimals to 6. Create a new text document, copy the coordinates in Excel sheet and, paste these values in text document. Save the text file as, cam profile coordinates.dxt. Let us open SolidWorks. Go to Curves and, select Curve through XYZ points. Click on Browse and, select the CAM Profile Coordinates text file. Click on OK. Click on Extruded Boss option. Select the front plane. Click on Convert Entities option and, select the CAM Profile sketch. Provide the length of extrusion as, 30 mm. The 3D model of CAM profile is obtained from MATLAB code. Here are the outcomes of this project. Learned about different types of, CAM and follower motions. Developed a MATLAB code to generate CAM profile, for given set of inputs. Developed an interactive code by taking user inputs while running the code. The CAM profile is customized, by providing an option to select, different types of motions for ascent and descent. Exported the CAM profile coordinates, from MATLAB to Excel sheet. Created a three-dimensional CAM profile in SOLIDWORKS, from the coordinates file. That's all for this video. If you get value from this video, please hit the like button and, 
subscribe to, X Dynamo. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you in our next video.